Welcome to Short View Trends, your morning market here for Friday, December the 11th. What matters today for traders? So the key question is, are markets rolling over or are they prepping for their move higher in the traditional Santa Claus rally? And if you look at the S&P 500 month to date, you'll see it's behaving pretty much bang in line with its traditional seasonal patterns. That is pretty strong early on in the month. It was up over 2% by the 4th of December. And then you get some sogginess beginning as the mid-month starts to approach. And of course, on Wednesday this week, we had key day reversals in both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100, both indications of an exhaustion of an uptrend. Indeed, we explain these in more detail in today's Daily Rag, where we outline our four reasons for staying short the S&P 500. Please see the website for an update on the daily rag today. But reflecting that shift in momentum, we saw some sogginess, some weakness in US equity markets and European equity markets pretty much across the board yesterday. And we've also seen Asian markets, some of them soggy overnight, not all of them, but China, particularly interesting, the Shanghai Composite, one of the key equity indices there, making a new multi-week low, as you can see from the chart in front of you now. In addition to that, we've seen breadth indicators, a number of them softening over recent trading sessions. The sector breadth indicator that I'm putting up in front of you now, which averages the relative strength indices of, across all sub-industry groups in the, in the S&P 500, has rolled over quite nicely and quite sharply in recent trading sessions, undermining the breadth, illustrating the lack of breadth in a sector sense that's been playing out in the S&P 500. Added to that similar sort of pattern in the single stock breadth or not, not quite as dramatic, but certainly illustrating that sogginess, that rolling over of breadth, all of which is confirmed by two other key asset prices. Firstly, if you look at the US 10-year bond yield, its yield peaked in a on a closing basis on the 4th of December and has been soggy since then, weaker again yesterday. And then the second asset price that we like to look at uh, amongst many others is Bitcoin, a very good liquidity indicator and therefore quite a good leading indicator, the S&P 500. As we've highlighted in recent videos, this has been pretty soft in, in recent trading sessions over December. In the back end of November, it's been soggy and it looks as though it's rolling over. And of course, now it's trading as we speak below that $18,000 level. And of course, as discussed before, it remains a good leading indicator of S&P 500 direction. So if the typical seasonal pattern does play out, then we, we'd expect some sogginess, uh, some weakness in equity markets over the next few trading sessions. And then as you get towards the last two trading weeks of the month, that's when the typical Santa Claus rally begins in earnest. For full detail on how we're playing this, please see today's Daily Rag available to subscribers via the website. So what are we watching today? Well, we'll continue to watch the price action in Bitcoin and US 10-year bond yields, and of course, in among, amongst key US equity indices. In terms of macro data though, there's US PPI and then Michigan sentiment first estimate. That's often pretty interesting for markets. And then over and above that, there's a continuation of the EU leaders meeting. There may be some announcements coming out that are interesting for markets there. And then Brexit talks hit their, their latest deadline this Sunday. And of course, the risk of a no deal would be a negative for markets if it occurred, albeit the deadlines keep getting pushed further and further forward into the future. So that's it from us. That's your morning market hit for Friday, December the 11th. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube. Simply search under Shoreview Trading or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.